is in shock trauma tonight after a vacant building collapsed onto him in West Baltimore. WJZ is live in Sandtown, Winchester. Paul Gessler is outside the home on Mount Street with more from a victim's mom and a first-hand account from one of the men involved in the rescue. Paul. Yeah, Nikki, as you can see, there's a fence around what's left of this vacant building. This was not the first time part of this vacant building had collapsed. The sidewall was repaired six years ago. Now the building, as you see, was condemned and the emergency demolition is now complete. We real messed up. We can't move them or anything. Renee Planty shows us her son Sabron awaiting surgery Monday afternoon at shock trauma after being pulled from a vacant home collapse Sunday night in West Baltimore. God was with that man because he was completely covered. You couldn't even see him. This was the scene Sunday after Sabron was pulled from the rubble on Mount Street. Witness Daryl said the dust was thick after the collapse. That was a house. Not now. It looked like an alien done shot him with a ray gun. He, he had at least a, a ton of bricks on top of him before he got to his head. The vacant building collapsed around 7.30. Two other people were hurt, including Milton Barrett Jr., who was standing near the home's front door. Right about there when I heard the building coming down. Some of the bricks knocked Barrett to the ground. He was buried right here in this section. He told us Monday morning he held Sabron's hand and helped in the rescue before firefighters arrived. And you can hear the guy right frankly saying, Help me, help me. So I started immediately pulling off the bricks, pulling out the bricks, and then I seen his hand. God, excuse me for a second. And I thank God that they were there because if they wasn't, it could have been worse. Sabron was rescued, but his mother says he has a spinal injury and can't feel his legs. It's a whole lot of vacant houses throughout the city of Baltimore, and something really do need to be done. This property has been vacant at least 16 years. This vacant building notice was first filed in 2007. Housing records also show a sidewall collapsed and was repaired in 2016. Like a third world country here in Baltimore again, it's safe. The city has been making strides on vacant buildings. Housing stats show a 17% decline in vacant building notices in the past five years. The progress is not fast enough for those in Sandtown this weekend. I would never, ever want to go through this again. Back live now, and housing officials tell me the current amount owned on this citation here at this vacant building was $1,500. Also, those housing records show that it hasn't switched owners since the 70s. But more importantly, Sabron's mom tells me her son is in a lot of pain and was preparing when I spoke with her this afternoon for a more than four hour long surgery. For now, reporting live on North Mount Street in Sandtown, Winchester, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ. Paul, thank you.